गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक यू ऑल इट्स योर साइंस क्लास हम एनालिटिक को पोस्ट कर रहे हैं वी आर स्टार्टिंग न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज द अर्थ सन मून एंड द स्टार्स इट्स अ न्यू चैप्टर द अर्थ सन मून एंड स्टार्स in the previous class it may be a third standard you studied about earth sun and moon and also stars again we will continue the same chapter that is the sun moon and stars children you know earth is called as earth is called as blue planet it is blue why it is called blue planet why it is called as blue planet three four Three fourth of Earth is covered with what? It is covered with water. So we call it as blue planet. So we say that it is as a blue planet. Earth is known as blue planet. Why it is? Three fourth of Earth is covered with water. So we call as a blue planet because it blue. It looks blue. Okay. By it is covering of three fourth of water. So the color looks blue so we call as earth is called as blue planet okay so earth looks blue from the outer space where it looks blue from a outer space it looks blue from outer place out of eight planets how many planets are there in solar system we are having eight planets in our solar systems okay in out of eight okay planets In a solar family, the Earth is the third planet. Yes, Earth is the third planet, and it is called as blue planet. We can say it is a third planet, and it is called as blue planet. And it revolves around the sun in a fixed orbit. And it revolves around the sun in a fixed orbit. How it revolves? It revolves around the sun in a fixed. orbit it is a planet because to travel around the sun it is the planet which uh, revolves around the sun travels around the sun in a fixed orbit in a fixed orbit in a fixed orbit and also because it is gets a light from the sun it is depending on the light of the sun earth uh, this moon is depending on the light of the sun okay we are also depending on the sun's light yes when there is a light uh, sun gives us light then only we can see the objects which are in front of us what are the things around us with the help of sun it is called as natural satellite and it is called as natural satellite the earth is the only place in the universe we know where life exists earth is the only planet where the life exists we all live on the earth See it again. We recall it is a planet. It is a planet because it travels around the sun. The Earth, which travels around the sun, where it travels, it uh, travels around the sun. It is in uh, around the sun about it is in about fixed in a fixed orbit. It is having a fixed orbit. What it is having? It is having a fixed orbit, and because fixed orbit also gets. Uh, light or uh, light of the sun. It also gets the light of the sun. Its shape is like a ball. The shape of the earth is like a ball. Shape like a ball. The shape of the earth is like a ball. Okay, the earth is the only plan, uh, only place in the universe. Earth is the only place in the universe. We know that the life exists. Where the life exists, where the life exists on the earth, the life exists on the earth. The right, exactly in the right condition, exactly in the right condition, are present on the earth. Are present on the earth to make a life possible on it. The life on the earth is possible. Yes, the only the planet that the life exists that is called as earth. Where the life exists on the earth, the life. Not exists on the sun or a moon or a star. Life exists on the earth. It is the only planet where the life exists. Exactly the condition, the right conditions are the right conditions are present on the earth. There are the right conditions present on the earth to make the life possible or 
8 it is neither too close not too far to the sun this earth is not too far and also too close to the earth uh, for the sun so it has a correct temperature of the light so it has a correct temperature of light it is the only planet which is covered by a it is the only planet which covered by the a as a blanket air as a blanket air is, has hydrogen oxygen in exactly in the right portion it has nitrogen as well as oxygen in a correct proposition or a right portion we cannot imagine life without air yes we cannot imagine life without air that is an oxygen without oxygen we cannot lead a life on the earth the life is not possible on the earth also it is the only planet it is also the only planet with water it is the only planet which covered with the water a life supporting substances so water air is very important to lead a life on the earth uh, also it is the only planet with water it is the only planet with water earth cover water okay is the only planet a uh, supporting substance and a life supporting substance we can call it as a life supporting substances that is why our earth is known as unique planet we call our earth is as a unique planet layer of the earth long long ago okay long long ago what happens there was no earth at all long ago there was no earth at all the scientists believe that the slowly the earth starts as a large ball of burning gas it starts like a ball of burning gases this is this becomes cooler during a spinning of the earth for millions okay when there is a spinning uh, for a millions of years okay it is cooled it becomes a harder surface of the earth when it becomes cool it becomes a harder surface of the earth become a crust it becomes a crust with the twinkles the twinkles becomes a mountain range it becomes a mount range water of the rain collected a uh, water of the rain collected into to, to a low laying places low laying places and slowly becomes oceans rivers and lakes where the water is co uh, collected it becomes slowly rivers oceans lakes and ponds below the crust the thick layer is mantle it is called as mantle okay it becomes a mantle as present a mantle is present it is made up of mixed of rocks and metal it is made up of mantle is mixed of rocks and metal it is a mix of rocks and metals the inner uh, most part inner most part of the earth is called as core the inner most of the earth is called as what it is called as core what's it called as it's called as core which is very hot the core where which is very hot what is it is very hot okay it is very hot deep breath of crust there is a resol mantle rocks mantle rocks that is called as magma what it is called as it is magma. sometimes this magma is forced upside it is forced to upside the surface of the earth Uh, has a liquid surface of the earth has liquid through the weak point is called as cracks we may get cracks due to weak points due to the weak points we may have cracks in the form of volcanoes we can call as it as volcanoes the liquid that becomes out of it is known as larva after volcanoes what we get we get then a larva okay do you know the biggest volcano uh, the height of the volcano how much it become how much it may be it may be of 21 km the height of volcano may be of 21 km okay olympic mons it uh, means a very large volcano on the earth it is a very large volcano on the earth that is mars on the mars that is the the volcano which arises on the mars that is called as olympic volcanoes which 
a more which more of the twice high in the mountain events but it is under the sea where it is it is under a sea the moon is a natural satellite of the earth moon we call it as a natural satellite of the earth the moon is called as natural satellite of the earth the satellite is an object which revolves around the planet satellite is an object which revolves around the planet in a fixed object in a fixed uh, in a fixed orbit how it revolves it revolves around the planets in a fixed orbit now scientists are sending many artificial satellites to know more about the outer space as well as the our planet also as well as outer space and as well as our planets in addition to telecommunication purpose for the purpose of telecommunication see here again i'll read out the moon is called a natural satellite recall that is moon has a natural satellite natural satellite of the earth satellite is an object satellite is an object which revolves around the planet in a fixed orbit now scientists are sending many artificial scientists are sending many artificial satellites uh, artificial satellites to know more about outer space to know more about outer space as well as our planet also in addition to telecommunication purpose also for the purpose of telecommunication and to get the information of outer space also the scientists are sending movement of the earth the movement of the earth means uh, during the rotation the earth spins on its axis its own axis on its own axis what is an axis what is an axis axis is an imaginary line it is an imaginary line about which the earth rotates and it joins to the north and south poles it rotates and join the north and south pole the axis is tied at the angle of 23.5 degrees celsius 23 23.5 degrees celsius okay degree celsius 23.5 how much 23.5 celsius degree celsius one end of the axis name one end of the axis is named north pole one end of the uh, uh see here It is called an axis line. Okay, it 
is an axis. We are having north pole and south pole. The line which is covering the end of the north pole and the south of the north pole. That line is called as axis. Okay, it is called as axis. The end of the so see here. One end of the axis named as north pole. One end is named as north pole, and another end is named as south pole. Okay, one end is called as north pole, and another end is called as south pole. And another another imaginary line huh, called equator runs along the center. Okay, where the line is uh, running at the center, it is called as equator. We, we say it as a equator runs along the center. It runs along the center of the earth, separating the north half north half from the south half. It is entering the at the center. That is called as equator line. It is making half north and half. Okay, it is uh, dividing equally, separating the north pole, northern half and southern half, northern half and southern half. It is separating both north and south. The north pole is the northernmost point. North pole is northernmost point in the north hemisphere of the south pole. Okay, northern hemisphere, northern pole. That is northernmost point. Northernmost point is northern hemisphere. It is called as northern hemisphere, and the south pole of the south pole is the most is the southern most southernmost point of the southern hemisphere. South hemisphere. We call it as the south hemisphere. The half of the global globe is covered. Uh, half of the globe towards North pole is called as north hemisphere. The globe. We see the globe. Yes or no? We can see a globe. A uh, half of our globe is uh, towards a north pole is called as northern hemisphere. We say it as northern hemisphere, and the half of the globe towards a uh, south pole is called as south hemisphere. Which uh, the globe? We see a globe. Which is faced to the north that is called as north hemisphere, and which is faced to the south that is called as south hemisphere. Okay, students, I think you understood what I said. If any doubts, means contact me, please. Uh, about the formation of day and night, we'll continue in the next class. Or going to the wind up the class. Uh, I give few homeworks and homeworks for you. Questions for your homework.
Ya por. Okay, these are the five questions. What makes the Earth special planet? Okay, next is how are oceans and mountains formed? What is the mantle made up of? Where do you find the core? Define the crust and mantle of mantle and core. See satellite. Satellite. What do you mean by a satellite? Satellite is an object that revolves around the planet. Satellite is an object that revolves around the planet. Space belonged the earth atmosphere. It is belonged to the earth atmosphere where there is no air, where there is no air. That is called as space. Thank you, students. We'll continue in the next class.